Look at somebody and tell them, I don't know exactly where he's going, but I know he's talking about bringing the box. Look at somebody else and tell them, bring the box. Like the woman with the alabaster box. When you humbly give honor to others, you are honoring Christ and commanding favor upon yourself and upon your seed. I want to talk to you about honor today. And every time I say bring the box, I'm talking about bringing honor. Honor to others. Honor and respect have taken a back seat as we've been bombarded by the bullies of this world who say anything and do anything in the name of freedom. America is going to hell in a handbasket, partly because we have no longer a sense of honor or reverence for who God is and what God has created. We have an attitude built on self without respect or honor to others. As a people, our pants are on the ground, literally and figuratively. We have lost our way, eating each other up, literally and figuratively, cussing each other out in each other's face, in each other's space, children not knowing their place, guns, dope, sex, violence, crude rappers, lewd lyrics, wicked white producers and negative Negro consumers complaining, complaining, criticizing without qualifying even for a loan. We don't own a business, but we in everybody else's business. We need to learn that this is not something that has to be way up here. I'm talking about everyday honor now. I'm talking about learning how to walk humbly with your God. Learning what Micah 6 and 8 says, you know, to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. This requires a death to self. It is a requirement of the righteous. It's a requirement that we walk humbly with our God. It is the posture of the promoted. If you want to be promoted, you have to be humble. For the Bible says in James 4 and 10, if you would be exalted, you must humble yourself. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and you shall be lifted up. Get down on your knees before the master and it's the only way that you get on your feet. The more honor, the more honor you pour in, the more the cork rises from the bottom. The more honor you put in, the greater your promotion, the more your favor, more opportunities, more doors open. Come on, somebody. More money in the envelope. Come on, somebody. More surprises that you never thought of. When this woman came to Jesus, what would you expect that Jesus would do to her but show her favor? In that she wiped his feet with her hair and washed them with her tears because she had been so low, so broken, so messed up, so out of it. He brought her back. She was not ashamed to walk in to a Pharisee's house and wash his feet with her tears. We've become so carried away with who we are and what we've got, which is nothing. That we don't know how to give God honor 
and give God praise. Even in the house of prayer, we sit up like we got, like we're the frozen chosen. But like Jay Moss said, you got to learn how to praise him with everything. If I were a writer, I'd praise him with a pencil. If I was a singer, I'd praise him with my voice. If I was an eagle, I'd praise him with my wings. Since I'm a believer, I praise him with everything. Cut somebody and tell them, bring the box. Trying to 